As you may recall from the last module, we made some progress on the site. Yet I'm still dealing with this uh, issue with this clipping of my unordered list, which is sitting behind the introduction screen. Now, of course, if I click on topics, then they're all going to appear. But I'd like that list to not do that anymore. In fact, what would be perfect is if I had the list set up into various columns. So that's what I'm going to do right now. So I'm going to target the topics unordered list to be three columns instead of just one list of values. And switch over to Visual Studio. And I'll do just that. I'm going to go to Topics, Unordered List. And let's see how difficult this is going to be in order to provide a column count. There you can see I'm going to be using the vendor prefix for WebKit and also provide the standard based weight. Even if the standard based weight is not being used in any browser at this time, it's still good for forward thinking. Uh, make sure that you're prepared for that when it does happen. So I have that in there, and let's see if that in itself made a difference. I'm going to save that, go back over to our browser, and hit refresh. So I'm instantly happy. I can see now that as I'm hovering over these things, now the, the detail below that uh, provides a description for each one of these is clearly seen. And of course, I don't have the clipping issues. That means if I navigate from the intro screen to the topic screen, I'm not going to have to deal with that clipping data. So we're getting really super close. However, as I'm looking at this, I see this gap in between and, uh, you know, some might say that's good, but what if I want there to, you know, to be no gap between the columns? Well, it's a great way of saying that. I'm going to switch back over to Visual Studio. And if I want to have that ability, then I'm just going to take this and utilize the naming, but I'm going to change, instead of column count, I'm going to call it column gap. And specify that there's going to be no gap. In fact, I'm going to put a zero there. If I wanted to control the size of it, I could use any kind of sizing. But I'll just leave it like that at zero. Make my changes. Switch back over to the site. I'm going to refresh. And now the gap is gone. So what we've done in this particular demo is we've utilized the ability to have a very simple column count for an unordered list of things.